people are trained to draw just the raw human form and in particular with art school you're working from live models that you're studying their natural bodies and um, and, and again it's sort of a unconscious subconscious kind of thing that that's how art is um, guided how it's inspired in a way is it's uh, you know the purest representation of what we are and the thing is in movies if they had switched instead of going to everything being made out of rubber but they started actually making superhero costumes as more or less we hired a bunch of really muscled people and then painted their skin the colors of the characters they're dressed as like spider-man's all just a body paint job that would be very appropriate because that's really what's going on it's not about it's nothing to do with practicality these are not costumes that have some validity of like oh this is real armor or it's something to be found or purchased no it's not about thinking through what's feasible the artwork exists on almost a mythic level and uh, it communicates something that you know has to get translated when it's adapted to other media but then again the other media has in many ways rarely ever gotten across exactly what was on the page like say when they started making movies in the modern era with Chris Reeve as Superman you got a very pure version of the comic book costume but it still is this lycra material on a human frame that basically flattens out all the muscularity that the person actually had. I mean, it's it's crazy to see um, a video of Reeve when he was working out for the part. He actually got mass on his body that um, you would have thought like, oh, how come that didn't show up on screen? He actually had definition. He was cut. He, you know, he looked great, shirtless. But as soon as this flattening material came over his body, it's just one tone of light, no shadow deviation or whatever. That's why they sculpt the costumes now, because they want you to see all those little things that might happen in nature that just don't comb through cloth. <laughs>